Tales from TikTok by J Muse. Get on the ground. Really? Where'd it go? Oh, 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 oh. You fast! Never you ain't fast! Don't look at that! Don't look at that! Don't look at that! Don't look at that! Hello everybody, I'm Jay Muse and welcome to another video. And as promised, I've got you a Tales from TikTok Volume 2 video. And if you're new to the channel and you're like, what the hell is Tales from TikTok? Well, it's quite literally random ass videos that I stumbled across from my For You page on TikTok. And we know what TikTok is, it's just a clusterfuck of a bunch of random videos that people post. And you're probably asking, well, what the hell do I care? Can I just go watch the videos for myself? Well, yeah, but why you gotta ask so many questions, you little sh- Anyway, that's what we're doing right now. We're watching some TikTok videos and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it, alright? So go ahead and find yourself the fattest snack you can find. Get yourself nice and comfortable, and we're gonna look at this shit, okay? So here it is. So as you can see here, we've got a lady polishing her favorite tumor, along with Alvin and the chipmunks in the background, really setting the mood for us. Yeah, that's about right. Two eggs and a hot dog is about what it looks like. I really don't understand the point of plastic surgery, especially when people make themselves look hideous with it. Like, how are you gonna spend thousands of dollars to make your face look like my morning breakfast? That's right, I eat two raw eggs and a hot dog every morning. Get on the ground. It's really... Oh, 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 oh. You fast, bro, but you ain't fast, on oh. I'm a feminist. All right, bro, you had ample opportunity to get away and you come back to tell the guy you're a feminist? I'm beyond confused. I just want you to know, you ain't get me. I got you. We're done. Oh, it's tiring. I'm hot. Don't taste me, that shit just stings. My safe word is pineapple juice. So does he get off on getting arrested? Is that what he's saying? I wonder if he just goes out of his way to harass police enough to get himself arrested just to get his thing going. Oh, please don't tase me right in my crotch, officer. Oh, by the way, my safe word is pineapple juice, so just keep that in mind. Oh, and make sure you cuff me real tight or I might slip away. Get that? Hey, just like that, cross your ankles. Ooh, cross your ankles. We gonna take pictures? Bring your ankles up to your butt. Swap man, what's my safe word? Bring your ankles up to your butt. That's how far I go! You think I'm in Pilates? Stay just like that. Ooh. Oh, that's cute. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, watch your hands, bud! That's my, don't, don't do that. That's, oh, that's, that's my lighter. It don't work. Don't do drugs, kids. Yeah, definitely don't do any drugs or you'll end up exactly like this, okay? Yeah, this guy's having entirely too much fun for someone who's getting arrested. Like, I've watched a lot of arrest videos and usually they're like screaming and crap. I don't know if you've ever watched cops, but they don't ever go like this. They're a lot more intense, a lot of screaming and like running and shaky cameras. And when I say cops, I mean the TV show, of course, not like literal cops. Don't do that. 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 So I guess this guy just got tired of riding the bus and thought, okay, well, I'm getting off right now and decided to jump out the window. Definitely do not do drugs. They will make you stupid. There are obviously a lot of terrible things that could happen if you jump out of the window of a moving bus, my guy. But I'll admit, it's kind of hard to blame him, you know? Public transportation is ass. For some reason, nobody likes to show up to the bus bathed. I mean, can you think of a time where you got on a public bus or any kind of public transportation and it was just a wonderful time and everybody smelled Gray, because I can't. Everybody smells like the crustiest asshole imaginable. No, stop the bus, please. Get stop the bus. Get off me. Get off me. Get your smelly ass crack scratch and sausage links off of me, man. I can't handle the smell anymore. That's the only thing that I can think is going through his mind right now because what else could it possibly be? There has to be a logical reason for why a man needs to jump out of the window of a moving bus. Get the fuck off. Get off. No, get off. So thankfully the bus driver stops the bus to allow the man to safely jump out of the window. Otherwise I wouldn't upload this video to YouTube now would I? Because YouTube will most definitely crucify my channel if I do anything wrong.
You know, you don't run into that every day. I wonder how uh, pissed he got whenever the owner of whatever building that is decided to clean the windows. That looks like weeks and weeks of math. Also, how the hell are you gonna memorize all of that shit? And what is he building the machine out of? What, just cardboard and tape and shit? He's making a shit-fueled cardboard time machine. Seriously though, I wanna get some answers here. I wanna know what he's doing. Oh wait, I know what he's doing. He's pretending to be a homeless guy that knows math and just playing his part in a TikTok video so that they can get some views and, you know, money. Man, what the fuck is going on, man? I'm just doing my best. I came here for a haircut. You blowing that shit in my motherfucking mouth, cuz. This man, you got slobbed out down your face. That shit, you think you got him looking at me, got my mouth on, oh, you know, talk time, be on. Man, slob came with him on my own. God damn. Damn, bro. <laughs> bro, cuz, what I just told you, bro. I feel like this might be like legit because the reaction here is just so genuine But I don't know man. There's so many fake videos out there I don't know what's real anymore if my barber did that man. I would just leave I don't even know what I would do. I would just leave I would expect him to just understand that I'm not paying for the haircut now yeah, uh, so the dog is just Big Ed, but if he were a dog. Like, look at that video and tell me that's not just a Spy Kid's thumb with four legs running around. But hey, you know what? That dog looks happy with his life. Or her life. Or whatever. Imagine chilling outside in the dark or something and you see that thing running toward you, man. Happy, friendly dog or not, you're gonna be running. You don't know what the hell that thing is. That doesn't look like a dog. It legit just looks like a four-legged furry schmeagle running at you in the dark. No offense to the dog or the dog owner or anything, but it's pretty clear to me that they realize their dog looks a little rough around the edges. You, you know? God. I swear to God, I did not mean for that to be an actual pun. That that literally happened by accident. So don't blame me for how cringy that was. That was not supposed to be a joke. Speaking of puns, I actually hate them, like with a passion. And here's why. Can you think of a time where a pun actually made you laugh? Because I can't. Every single time I hear one, it actually just hurts. It physically hurts me. Anyway, if you couldn't tell, that's all of the TikTok videos that I've got for you. So um, I really appreciate you if you got this far in the video. And if you'd like to be a part of the end of the video club then I want you to crush my soul with the absolute worst pun you can think of in chat below the one that makes me cringe the most will get pinned for this video anyway that's it I really appreciate you again for watching I hope you have a good rest of the day I hope you stay happy and healthy and I will see you in the next video peace